course creator and create workbooks for your courses or if you like to make workbooks for other things in your business whether it's for your students for your clients anything where you want people to go through and answer questions you can actually elevate that workbook even further by making it a tabbed workbook so this means that people will have links along the side where they can actually click to different sections now if your workbook is particularly long this is going to be even more handy because then they can easily jump to different sections now you may have seen this with digital planners but it isn't just exclusively for digital planners we can also do this with workbooks to make workbooks a little bit easier to use because then people can flick through to different sections more easily and also they can return to different pages faster so maybe they've just worked on the workbook to a certain point they remembered yep I was up to this particular section rather than having to scroll through and find the page that they were on they can click on those tabs on the side to get to that section or if there's a section they want to jump ahead to they can also do that so it actually makes it a lot easier for someone especially when you create a workbook that has a lot more to it so in this video I'm going to show you how you can set that up and do that in Canva now if you want to speed this process up even more and not have to spend the time creating the tabs in my shop I do have a tabs template which you can use so you can more quickly have those tabs set up but I will show you how to do them yourself if you'd rather work on this yourself from scratch all right so we're going to create a tabbed workbook so we're going to make a workbook a little bit more interesting and interactive by adding tabs to it so people can click through and find different pages so this is going to be particularly helpful if you have a large workbook so that people can find all the relevant pages a lot more easily so what i'm starting with here is a workbook template so to make it easier to build the workbook i'm going to use a template but but you may already have a workbook that you want to adapt and make tabbed so it may be a very similar process so we're going to start off with a workbook that isn't set up for tabs that way we can make the adjustments necessary so that it does so i first of all going to decide what pages i would like so you might be creating yours from scratch you may have some sort of workbook template you're using or you might have a workbook you've already created and you want to adapt it so that it has tabs i'm working with so the first thing we want to do is adjust it so that we can put the tabs on the side so what you want to do is move things over so to so to make that easier for yourself so what we're going to do is first grab the tabs so we can see where they sit on our page. So here I have a tabs template, which I do sell if you would like to grab that to make it easier. So what I'm going to do is grab all these on the side here. Now you can use this where you just use the page and you start from scratch to build out your workbook. But if you've got an existing one, so this is really looking at well, what do you do if you already have one and you need to adapt it to have tabs. So what we can do is just grab the page, so everything except the content and copy. Now we're going to go over to our page we've already got and paste and layer send to back. So now our actual page here we want to make sure we've resized that and so now we want to think about well where do we want everything on the page to sit now. So what we can do is click on our actual page here make sure that everything sits exactly in that space then we're going to get the rulers. So if you don't see rulers here, make sure you go to file settings, show rulers and guides. Then you're going to grab and pull it across till it turns pink. So it's sitting in the middle of that area. So it's not the middle of the page, it's the middle of that area, basically next to the tabs. So then we can now see where that middle is and move everything over to center it with that new middle. So you see as something goes to the center it turns pink so you know you've got it there so as you can see we've now set up that new page so now we want to think about well how many tabs do I actually want so we've got some tabs in here and now we need to consider well how many do I actually want to use so we can have home section one section two Three. And as you can see, you can adapt the text to make it fit. So if you want to, you can make that text, you can pull it to give it more room, or you can always change the sizing to, to make it fit in there, or you could always do two lines as well. So if we wrote, for example, more resources, then we could just move it up. So you'll see this little dotted pink line, which shows you it's in the center of it. 
And so now we've got as a double lined one. So now we can remove these ones that we didn't want. And you'll see there's a shadow. So if you can't reach it, what you want to do is go right click layer and show layers. That way we can just hover over each one till we found it and then delete. So now we've got rid of the tabs that we don't want. Now, if you don't want to be purchasing tabs, if you want to create them yourself, I'll show you how you can do that. So let's make another home page with no tabs. So what you would want to do is actually move the page over to give the space where your tabs are going to be. So choose a space and say, okay, that's where I want my tabs to be. And then you want to create the tabs. Now these ones I've created a custom design, but if you want to keep it simpler, if you don't want to use something like that, we can have a look here. We can go into graphics, see what Canva has. Canva's got some stuff in pro that looks like a tab. You could always use something like that if you wanted to. And you just want to resize it, change the color, and layer, send to back. And then you want to get the next one, and so on. And you could build your tabs out that way. If you were trying to use free, you don't want to spend any money at all. You don't want to use Pro Canva. You don't want to buy the tabs. You just want to try and do this as cheaply as possible. You can just go into Elements. And you want to grab one of these squares with the rounded corners. And you're basically going to make it so that it sits like this and you go to the rounded corners and you just want to adjust your rounded corners to look like the tab that you want. Then layer center back. And now what you're going to do is grab some shadows so we can actually add the shadow effect as well. So we're going to move that into position. So you want it a little bit off like that. Then I'm going to go to Elements Shadow. Now a lot of the really good shadows are Pro. So again, when you have Pro, you do have a lot more options, but we can find some free ones. So let's just adjust this to just free so we can just see what we get here. But we can get a circle one like this. And that one we can use in between so we can put it layer send to back and as you can see it gives it that little bit of lift at the bottom of the tab so you can have that between each tab but then we also want a shadow down the edge of the page there to make the tabs look like they're sitting under the page so we probably want a long one like this turn it into position and layer center back. Then we want to go layer, show all layers and make sure that it sits over the tab, but under the page like that. And so now what you can do is actually replicate the tab and the little bottom shadow as many times as you want to create those tabs. So as you can see, you have a variety of options. You can buy a tab template. You can use the little pro graphic, which is a tab, or you can build your own just using a shape. So there's a lot of options there of how you actually build out those tabs. You really want to spend time on that first page, really getting it just right with the tabs. So thinking about how many you want, laying them out, putting the shadows just how you want, getting the text in there, basically making it look just how you want it to look so that you've got that template for yourself for how your tabs are gonna be. So then what we can do is select the tabs and the page and we can copy so you can right click copy. Then you want to go to your next page and paste in, layer, send to back. And now all it's a matter of is just adjusting your content so it sits within that page. So as you can see, it's kept that middle line for us. So we've got that. And we can also add in other lines too if you need to. But as you can see, as you move things, it will hit that line. You can see it's centered. So now this text here, we want it to be a little bit shorter. And you can see Canva starts putting in guidelines too to help you out. This we want to be centered. And of course, if you need to add additional guidelines, you can always grab from the ruler here. So if we wanted to say, let's make sure that sits there and everything sits in there. So we've got sort of a margin within that page. You can give yourself extra guidelines too. So let's look at an actual workbook page now. So we've created a workbook. We've added all these little things where people can fill stuff in. Let's add our tabs, layer, send to back. 
So what we want to do is make sure we can see all this. So in this case, the background I had with my tabs is a bit darker. So we want to make sure that fill in section can be visible. So it's just about going back and making any adjustments to make it work now with your tabs. Now we also want to adjust these fillable sections. So they sit in the middle of the page here. So we want to adjust them, move them over, move that over. So really it's just small adjustments from here on once you've got that tab, once you've set up that tab design is just adjusting things so they sit in the middle of that new page now. And once you've finished your workbook, you've got your tabs all set up. Now, one more thing before we start copying these tabs onto every page is adding the links so that we don't have to re-add the links for every single page, but they're going to apply across. So what we want to do is select the tab and the text, right click, link, and then we're going to choose which page in this document it will go to. So in this case, we want it to go to page one, done, this one, link. Then we're going to choose where that section is and you just want to go through and do that. Now you will notice when you add a link, it will underline the text. All you have to do is click the text and click underline there to remove those underlines. So you no longer have them. And now when you go and copy and paste this on other pages, those links will also carry through too. So you're not having to add those links every single time on every single page. Now, one other thing you may want to do on title pages or pages where a tab links to is actually make it look like the tab is sitting in front. So what we can do to do that, so let's say we've got this section here and that's going to be section one. So let's call it module one. And we, so we want this tab to look like it's in front. So what we can do is select the tab and the text, then right click layer, bring to front. And now it's sitting in front. Now you can always change the color too if you really want to highlight it and show this one is the current selection. Something like that. That is then going to bring it to front. Now obviously it's now up to you about the design. You may want all the pages the same except for those particular title pages where they come in front or you may want everything within that section to be this style of tab. In that case you would want to set up the tabs for each section and then copy them on each page for the each for everything within that section. So it's really a matter of how do you actually want this to look and doing things in the correct order to make it simpler for yourself to get that to get that end look that you are after. So I hope you found this helpful. And as you can see, it's not actually all that hard to add tabs to a workbook so that you can make it easier for people to move around a workbook, find different sections and be able to just click to a different section without having to scroll through and try and find a page. So have fun creating those workbooks and elevating them that little bit further by adding clickable tabs to them. Now, if you'd like to learn more about using Canva and about graphic design and branding, make sure you subscribe and happy creating.